Vlad, for our viewers who don't know who you are, a little bit of insight as to how you got involved in Ethereum. Oh, sure. So, I mean, I met Vitalik in, in like April, March 2014, and I uh, participated in a hackathon and built an Ethereum app. And then that's how we kind of landed these like volunteer positions with what would become the Ethereum Foundation. What would you define as the biggest challenges that Ethereum faces today? Governance, um, like how scalable will they be? What are the limits on the usability and the technical trade-offs? We've been talking about scalability for a long time. Is 2018 going to be the year where we can become real world scalable? Well, I mean, uh, probably not. Hopefully we'll see like a real blockchain scaling solution in 2018, but I, I doubt it. I think uh, it's still going to be a little more time than that. Now what do you have to say when we talk about other chains, they're talking about chains like EOS. Uh, they're pretty vocal about the fact that when they come online, EOS comes online, they're going to you know, put Ethereum out of business, they're going to make Ethereum out Yeah, but it's, non it's nonsense. The, the ecosystem that they have is basically, as far as I can tell, non-existent. Uh, and that accounts for a lot, it takes a long time to build an ecosystem. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Bitcoin Cash, it's a good example from our earlier conversation. They have like big blocks, but they're empty. Yes. EOS is going to have the same situation. No one's going to use it because it's not going to be usable, and it's, they're not. And, and and even if they do use it, it doesn't mean that they have like a, a ecosystem that you want to be a part of.